Hey everyone, Michelle Crafty Surveys. We're going to do some painting tonight, so I hope you come on. It's easy painting. Anybody can do this. So come on, say hi, let me know you're out there. Let me know if you're watching live or replay. So let's see if we can get some comments on here. So again, it's painting tonight and it's easy. It's going to be bright, colorful. Um, and I'm not always about all the colors, so tonight I am. Hello, Mavis. How you doing? I'm excited to come on and just do some painting. Hello, Sheila. How are you? And Patricia, Stacy. Hi, Carol. Hello, Sharon. So y'all have a good day. I had a long day. Long day working, but I wanted to come on tonight. I was going to last night, but it just didn't work. Hello, Melissa. Hey, girly Doris. Hey, Mary and Kathy. Hello, Vicki and Sherry. All right, so I'm gonna probably get going right away because this part is this part is really easy. So I can chat a little while I'm doing this. Hey, Dee. Yes, you did, Sheila. I am live. So yeah, maybe open this up. We'll see. gonna paint the sign white for now all right we're gonna make a really cute sign this is from Hobby Lobby $5.99 you can honestly what I'm doing tonight you can do with anything it you can do long signs you can do short signs it doesn't even have to be a sign um, there's so much you can do with it I am Sheila Hey, Marsha. Oh, somebody spread the surveys. Thank you. I missed husband and minor surgery. Spent most of the day in surgery center. Sherry, prayers for your husband. Hope everything is going good. I hope he heals quickly. All right, so I'm just going to uh, paint this. I'll go ahead and get started in painting this sign. So this is the Deco Art Snow White. This can be so flexible. Paint the colors you like. I normally do the toned down colors tonight. We're doing bright. So we need bright, right? So I'm just going to start. I was going to start just on the top of the sign, but I do want to do the edges too. So I will squirt some on here. Hey, Rita. What are we working on tonight? We are working on a sign and it doesn't, it, you don't have to necessarily make this a sign, um, but that's what I'm doing. So we're doing some fun, bright, colorful painting. You could change it up. You can make it um, in toned down colors. You can make it anything to match your home. I'm just painting the sides. This board again was Hobby Lobby $5.99. Every few weeks it goes on sale 50% off. So if you're interested in that, but you can use any size wood, any, any type. I just happen to have this here and with what I'm putting on here, it's gonna fit perfect. So that's why I chose it. Sharon, thanks so much for the stars. I appreciate it. So I'm just getting all of this. And you can paint the back too. But for purposes, my purposes, I'm just doing the sides and the top. I can always do the back. I'm just using a big fat brush, just something that's going to cover quickly. This 
design again is going to be so quick and fast and easy. Hi, Shirley. Not just do this side yet. So I'm not even doing rustic tonight. What's up with that? I was going to say I'm not doing buttons tonight, but holy man, I could do buttons if I wanted. I don't have them here, though. All right. So we've got that. Now we're just going to finish painting this all white. Start up here. I know you can't see that. So, again, we're doing... I'm doing... Uh, words that I can't flip my camera. Facebook changed something. I know other crafters are having the same issue. We can't flip our cameras. So the words are going to be backwards. Hi, glad I got to watch you tonight. I just ran a marathon mowing the lawn before dark. Oh, Mary Ann. I don't usually mow our lawn. <laughs> My husband does that. I I mean I I guess I wouldn't mind, but he's really good at it and he likes it. So I'll let him. I used to when I didn't work. Just adding a little more paint. I'm just putting it right on here and I'm using again this is um Deco Art Snow White. You, this, this background color could change so much for, again, what we're doing on here. It's so flexible. I'm just going to dry this up just a second and then I'm put one more coat because I want it nice and bright and white. Hi, Tina. Hello, Vicky. Oma creating decor. Is that your business, Marianne? Anybody has a business out there, go ahead and drop your link. Thanks for the hearts. Hello, Vicky. Oh, awesome, Vicky. Thank you for placing an order. I appreciate it. I'm just loving the magnolia. We're not doing that tonight, though. I did a, um, I did a live last night on over on my magnolia group page. So I did the shirt that I posted today, and I also did like a man shirt. So I did that over on the crafty servings with magnolia design company. So that's a group page off of mine. If you want to catch more of the stencils, go join that group. It's free. Hi, Betty. I also might possibly have another mystery hostess party at the end of this month. We'll see. I'm not positive yet. I might do one. So we'll see. I would let y'all know, though. All right. So I know you can't see this end of this. Oh, I'm stuck on paper. I'm just painting this. I want it a nice bright white. And this is the background. And then we're going to put something on here, and that's what we're going to have. So bright and colorful. Again, the board, Hobby Lobby, but you can use any board. I can see this DIY. I'm sure it's going to be awesome. Aw, oh, Susan, hello. Thank you. I hope it is. It's fun painting. It is fun. It's fun, easy. All right, so I'm done with this part of it, but I am going to put a little more on. I'm going to dry it off. We're going to finish decorating the back of this board, and then we're going to do what's going to go on here. And you all will have fun with it. I know you can have fun with it. Yeah, I 
think that would be fun. <laughs> I always love all your symbols, Doris. Oh, thank you, Betty. But you know what? Anybody can paint this. Anybody can paint it. And you can have, just have as much fun with it as you want. Hi, Loretta. Cash is in the bedroom. Mr. Cash is serving. So he usually goes to bed at the same time he does. I'm doing the craft for those pretty material you purchased in stores. You know what? I don't know. <laughs> I have them in my other room. I don't have to do that, right? I had a thought in mind of what I was going to do, and then I didn't. So I still will. Thank you, Joyce, for passing it on. I appreciate it. Oh, it's me, Doris. Thanks for the stars. I appreciate that. All right, so I think I've got it pretty dry. I've got it a little up here yet. I want to make sure the edges are dry. Okay, now I'm thinking. I know I want to put a trim on here. And I think I'm going to do it in black. So, um, it can be sort of a wide trim, and but I want it about the same distance. Let me just, so let me show you one of the letters I'm doing, okay? I just want to see how far that goes. So I know what I'm going to do. You know what I'm going to do with the letters? All right, let's, we're going to do, all right, I'm going to take, first of all, we are going to take uh, yellow. We're going to do sunflower yellow first. I'm just making this up again. Okay, this is sunflower yellow. It's an Anita's. I've got Anita's here. I've got um, deco art. You're going to pick out the colors that you think you really want. Um, I'm going to... Just looking the width that I want for them. I don't know that I want them that wide. But I think I'm going to end up... I think I am going to do them this way. So I'm going to take and just dip my brush in here. And for my measuring, I'm just going to try and measure so I can picture how far from this ridge on the brush away. And I'm going to get it a little bit even. And just, I'm just making little, can you see that? I'm just making little dashes like that. I'm going to do that all the way around the board. It doesn't have to be perfect. Isn't that bright and white? I just see all the colors we're using on this sign. Crazy colors, the amount. Let's see if I can shift this up so you can see what I'm doing. Thank you, Dane, for passing it on. So can I'm making this up. You can make up what you want to do. You'll see when we start on the letters, 
you'll see what I mean, where you can just make it up the way you want. Okay, so I just did that on that side. I think I'm going to... Hmm... I'm going to do one here. Because of the design of the side, I'm going to do one here. And I'm going to do one like that, I think. And one in the middle. So that's what I did on the edge. So let's flip this over. Get some more paint. Betty, I don't know that it's creative. <laughs> I don't know if that's what I call me. We're just going to have fun tonight, all right? So I'm just making this up as we go, this part of it. And, you know, honestly, the letters are going to be made up as we go, too. And I'll show you what I mean. All right, so I'm just going to do the same thing over here. I love this bright color. You could do, if you want, you could do polka dots on here. You can do whatever you want. I don't want to put anything in the middle because that's where the letters are going to go. I'm going to do, I'm going to try not touching this edge. Carla, it's wood sign from Hobby Lobby. Yes. This sign was from Hobby Lobby, and I painted it white. It was that color. And it actually has hangers on. So if I put the, the lettering on right, we'll be able to use the hangers. Okay, I'm going to put one here. Put one diagonal here, just like I did the other side. Okay, so we got that. What I'm going to do also... Black is going to be sort of a prominent letter in the bright colors. So I'm going to take a smaller brush, like a skinny, flat, smaller brush, and we're going to do some black on here yet. And Deco Art, I'm using Lamp Black. Yes, Donna. Okay. I think I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna vary it up a little bit. I'm just going to I'm dipping in the black. I'm just gonna do little just to add a little bit of interest to it. And then I'm going to let this dry, and we're going to work on the letters. The letters are the fun part. This part I'm just sort of making up as we go. But I think it's sort of cute. Right? Can you see that? You could add as many colors as you want on here. And we might even add more color when I'm done. And it's easy if you get the width of the brush that you want, you just draw the line down. I see that, Rita. Yeah, and by you all passing it on, that's how I get more followers on here. I'm right now so close to 31,000 followers on my page, even though Facebook limits us so much who can watch us. It's so limited. Um, but I'm excited that at least I, I mean, that's pretty many people, but they don't all see it. Most, most. There's only like maybe three or four percent. And same with some of the big crafters have so many more than that. But the amount that watch is such a tiny percent. All right. We're going to let that dry now. And we're going to work on the lettering. Okay, where am I putting this to dry? I 
I might even add, when that dries, before we do something else, I might add one more color. Okay, so do you want to see all the colors we're doing tonight? Just gonna fold this up. I think we'll do it on a paper towel too so that you can see what I'm actually doing. Okay, so let me show you the colors I'm using tonight. You're going to think I'm nuts. Using all those colors, or mo a lot of them, and I'm using a lot of these. I raided my paint stash and pulled out as much bright as I could. I don't care if they don't go together. They'll all, it'll all pull together. <laughs> Thanks, Sheila. All right, you were froze. Uh-oh, Jackie. Yeah, Donna, 31,000. That is awesome. But like I said, it's, you know, I'll bet you it's probably 1% or 2% that come in and watch. I mean, look at tonight. It's And I and I appreciate all of you. I appreciate it. I just, it's frustrating for a lot of us how limited we are. But, you know, we try and do the best we can with the algorithms. Thank you, Lisa, for passing it on. So, all right. So, we're actually doing the word garden. We, you can do um, any word you want. You can, you know, be, just be creative. This, I believe these letters are probably like from Joann's and they were wood and I painted them bright white first and those, so that's already dry. Okay, so if, and the reason why I painted them white is because if I'm doing bright colors and you paint white on a background, that actually brightens up those colors. It just, it really brightens them. So that's the reason why I started and painted them all, them white. Now, three of them I have done already. I'm not showing you yet, but I'll, we'll work on these. So, okay. So all you're going to do, you're just, you're just drawing designs and you don't have to be perfect on them. Are you using ribbons of many colors or buttons? LOL, Betty. You know what? I have ribbons of many colors on the tables that I debated on using. I'm not using any. I don't have the buttons out here. Buttons would be so cute on here. I might add buttons after we're done, but I don't even have them out. Can you believe that? And I'm doing bright and colorful. I'm not a bright and colorful person. Not usually, right? I'm rustic. So, all right, so let me just show you. We're gonna do different designs, and I'm gonna do, so we're doing three letters. The other three are done. I'll show you after. Thanks for all those hearts, I appreciate it. Yes, the clock. Are you giving the hearts for the clock again? Y'all used to do that to me. I always said you like my clock better than me. <laughs> yeah, Jane, that's right. <laughs> you like my clock. All right, so we're gonna get back to this. I've got just a plain old pencil and I'm gonna do some designs. So for, I'm just gonna, so let me see if you can see. Right here, I'm just gonna do some lines. All right, can you see that? Uh, when we start painting, you'll be able to see it. And then maybe I'm gonna do I might do this section maybe with some circles. So we'll just add that. Um, all right, I'm gonna do a section over, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to maybe do this in, I'm gonna do a little circle here and I'm gonna do like petals, like flower petals. Trust me, it's easy and you're gonna be able to do this. You, you can't, you don't even have to do flower petals. You can just do all designs. Okay, now I'm going to just do, um, let's do some squiggly lines. And then let's, do, we're gonna do like a checkerboard. And draw some lines. You see where I'm going with this? You're just, you're just doing whatever you want. Um, let's do, maybe let's do some, di some 
triangles now. Like jaw teeth, like shark teeth. We'll draw a line like that. Well, actually, let's do big triangle and Okay, so I just did that with there. Um, let's do let's do some more lines here. Can you see what I'm doing as I'm drawing? The letters are just wood. They were wood and I painted them white. And the reason why I painted them white is that we're putting bright colors on here. And when you paint white as a background and you put the bright on it, it really makes those colors pop. Okay, so that's the reason why I use the white paint. All right, so let's do some more lines this way. We'll do some lines this way. And let's just do, um, I'm just gonna put a big, one big sort of triangle there, okay. And we're gonna do a design on all three of these. Okay, this one I'm gonna do, we're gonna go up this side. We're gonna make this Sort of like a buffalo plaid, like a, a like a chuck. Okay, yes, I can see them. How on earth you think of all so many different designs? You know what? There's designs on everything. There's designs on everything. Just play with it. Um, okay, so I'm going to. This is going to be like a buffalo plaid. Well, it's going to be slanted because I'm drawing them slanted. I'm going to do this down this hole. leg. Um, this one I'm going to do, we'll do long triangles. Okay, let's do a big circle here. Can you see? I'm sorry, my, this is really hard. Like I said, once I start painting and I can show you up closer, you, it'll make sense. All right, I'm going to do this is going to be fun circles like that. Uh, let's do, um, let's do, let me just, I'm just looking at my others just to get some ideas too. All right, let's just do some more lines. Do some lines this way. And then let's leave that open and we'll do circles there. That one. Now we'll do one more. Okay, let's do, we're going to do another flower, I think, in this corner. So we're just going to try and do petals. And this is, you don't have to do flowers if you don't want to. I just did the basic petals, but you don't have to. You can just do lines, right? And now I'm just going to do a couple circles this way. Let's do... I'm just blocking off areas and doing lines. We're gonna do lines this way on this one. Let's see. Um, we'll do one more of these so you can see. Uh, let's do triangles here. And I'm going to close.
close that triangle off. So got that. Can I do stars? Let's let's um you can. <laughs> I'm not the best of stars. What if I do hearts? What if I do hearts? So I could do um we'll do let's do cut this off and I'm just gonna put a heart here. I do hearts a different way. I'll do that with the lettering, but we'll do, I'll do that section in hearts. Okay, what else should we do? Stars, I mean, I could do stars. They're a little difficult. I know what I'll do here. I'm going to do like out from here. I'm going to do some out like this. Oh, I'm sorry. Now you couldn't even see what I did. Can you see what I did? We'll do some out like that. Polka dots, yep, and I actually, like I'm gonna have polka dots on there. I've got hearts on here. Um, let's do, we could do more polka dots on this one too. So we're gonna have the hearts over in that one. Um, we're doing that there. I'm just looking at other ideas I was doing last night. We can do square again. Circles, zigzag. Oh, we could do like chevron. We could do chevron. All right, that would be cute over here. So let's do, um, good idea. And then we'll do those circles. And then we'll leave, we'll leave that bottom. Okay, and maybe we'll do circles on here then. Teardrops, oh, teardrops would be cute. I haven't done that either. Squares, lightning bolts. Oh, those are all great ideas. See, those are all ideas that your guys are gonna do. Let's do the, let's do the teardrops. Well, they're not gonna look like teardrops, but. Okay, so here's the G. Here's the R, and here's the A. Okay, just got to reach down and grab that. All right, so now we're mixing colors. It does not matter if you think these colors go together or not. Um, okay, black and white, I like, like this one is gonna be black and white. So let's just, as long as I've got that here, we're gonna do that part first. I have, a bunch of, I have a bunch of my little brushes picked out here, but yeah, the teardrop sounds scalps. Oh, that'd be cute too. You know, I sort of, let's see. Yeah, I guess I didn't really do that either. Those are, there's so many ideas. Yeah, you all can, all can do so many different ideas. And you know what? Join the Crafty Servings Crafting Club. Go on and post pictures of ones that you do. All right, so I'm gonna start with the white, just make it a little um, little bit brighter. Let's sure see, and I this area, I am going to do black and white. Um, almost like a buffalo plaid. It'll, it, it's like a checkerboard. You're not seeing the white yet, but when we start putting this all together, I said it doesn't matter if you think the colors don't match, it'll look good. Trust me, when we're done with it, it'll look all good together and pull together. that white in there um, just clean this up okay and you don't want to paint like if you don't want to keep drying it then move around do different things as you go so over here I think I'm going to do let's do some of 
this cute sweet mint this is one of my favorite colors i'm going to say that all night about every color so i'm just gonna you know what i'm going to do i'm just going to put some of a lot of the colors on here and i mean i if you want me to tell you every color i can it's it's maybe not necessary because you're just going to get whatever if you have whatever colors like this is citron green that's sweet mint i've got the yellow here um probably add a little more of that The white, we're gonna, this is a turquoise blue. Pink. Orange. I'm going to do bright red. Let's do some of this Bahama blue. That one is a popular color. I'm almost down to none. Almost gone. Let's do, um, this is holly green. Uh, do, 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 peacock teal. Let's do some, we got some purple here. This is lilac. Bluegrass green. All these colors will work. Trust me. Do you trust me? This is one of my favorites too. Dragon fruit. It's so pretty. Are you out of your comfort zone right, Sherry? I am. But wait, you're going to love it. Um, here's sorbet. And let's do a dark purple. I told you I have a lot of colors. And here's another brighter yellow. You are the paint queen. I trust you. <laughs> Thank you, Sherry. You all can do this, too. It, it's just filling in. It's just filling in the blanks. It doesn't matter. Rhyme or reason what way you're going to do it. Um, it's easier sometimes with the smaller paintbrushes, so like this one. I'm just going to, now this one has stripes. I'm going to fill in, and it's okay if you're not covering the lines that you had. You just want to get like right next to the lines. It's okay, because we're going to cover the lines. With this blue. So we're doing these stripes. So just doing that. Um, I'm going to do a little bit on, um, I think we're going to do one of these stripes in here. As long as i am got all these out, I might as well do them. Okay, and let's do a little bit on this G. We're gonna do these triangles on the bottom. We'll do big triangles. And if you don't think you can get up in the corners, use thinner paintbrushes. Use just like the pointy paintbrushes. But if you turn these little skinny ones sideways, you can usually get up in there. All right, so that's what I'll do for the blue for now. 
Let's go back. We're going to go back on this one and we painted that white. That white should be dry enough. We're going to go on now and we'll do the black. We're doing, like I said, like a checkerboard. So I started with the white there. You can't really see the white on top of the white, but now you're going to see. I'm going to put the black in here. Get the best Daniel. Always been leery about using a pencil. Can you still see? You will not see the paint, the pencil marks when you're done. Okay. You, trust me. You're not going to see these pencil marks. Trust me, D. All right. So I'm just going to go through. Now it depends upon what you do, but what I'm doing tonight and what I would like to show you that makes this so much fun. You don't have to worry about your pencil marks. I'm just doing every other one with the black. Is that going to be cute? Okay, if you don't think you're steady enough with, and you know what? If you're not steady enough for a brush, get paint markers. I like a brush better it's easier for me but if you think paint markers will be easier do that okay. what colors should we do that chevron two colors I think that'll be one of my favorite parts Michelle is extremely talented. Aw, thank you, Sherry. Um, but the, you know, honestly, this honestly doesn't take any talent. You all can do this. I'll show you how we're gonna pull it all together. All these colors that I'm using on here, it sounds crazy, but it's gonna all pull together and you'll see. You may not think that all these colors work, but they do. And you know what, this would also be really, really cute to do the same thing, is to do like, even if you like a certain color like browns, you could do all different varying shades of brown and do this exact same thing, and it would be adorable. All right, so we got that. Okay, chevron, purple, red, teal, yellow. All right, I'm going to do a couple, we're going to do this in black. The lettering, I did do the sides in white too. Yes, a lot of pretty colors. And then let's put a little black on here. Normally I would use a littler brush in this area, but I already have the black on this brush. Okay. Teal turquoise. All right, that's the last one I saw. Let's do teal turquoise. Chevron was, oh, that was actually on here. All right, so let's do teal. Teal turquoise, that's sort of, isn't that sort of the same thing? Teal and pink. Did I just see teal pink? Let's do that. Let's do the teal and the dragon fruit. Okay, so I'm going to... Again, the, the blue and teal don't look like it looks good together, but it will. It will. You know, if you like certain colors, you could do this with just limited colors. You don't need as many as I'm using, but this makes it fun. Um, you stick on, at the end we'll do the random act of kindness drawing. 
um, I see there was somebody new on here. If um, random act of kindness drawing is, is I scroll comments at the end and I randomly pick, I'll point to a name. I will send you happy mail, whoever that was. And I ask you to do a random act of kindness for someone. That's the deal I make with doing the kindness drawings. Right, so I'm just trying to, like I said, if, if it's too hard with a, with a bigger brush, just move down to a littler brush. This is gonna be really cute with that dragon fruit. the teal on there. Let's put a couple teal here. We're just doing fun. Happy mail? Happy mail. Yeah. Happy mail. So I just send out a little something. And then I ask you to do a random act of kindness for someone. You know, then it's double blessings. I will have to watch replays in the beginning, but can't wait to see what you're making. All right, Kathy. Kathy, you just came on or you're going off? Oh, that's awesome. Mail carriers need that, right? I like lime with any shade of blue. All right, let's do lime. Let's do... Um, that's sort of this color here. Let it, let us do here. I'm going to do it on here. Like that. Oh, that's pretty. This reminds me of like mint sherbet. And we'll do this one too. What color should we do our daisy petals? Do we leave them white or do we make them a different kind of daisy? Okay, that's really cute on there. Let's go on this G and we'll do some of them. Let's do this. All right, I have to keep setting my alarm on my phone. I'm so tired. Oh, Jean, you can watch replay. Definitely you can watch replay. I can't wait till you see the see the all the letters. Like I said, I'm only doing three. There's um six letters, so three of them are done. We're just doing up these three. Pink. All right, let's do pink would be cute. Let's do the mint here. We'll just do one mint there. Okay, now let's do some bright red. All right. Um, do some stripes of the red here. Now that was the, the color that I was a little nervous to use with all these other colors, but it works. It really will work. Okay, I'm gonna do one more stripe here. red on there let's do some red we're gonna do let's do red um, checkerboard here thanks Rita 
got some talks with our accents. Who's talking with an accent? Debbie Agnes. Ah, Agnes not always says when us Wisconsinites talk with our accents. Oh, us Wisconsinites, right, Debbie? Yeah. <laughs> Debbie's a Wisconsinite too. We ain't got no accents though. It's all of you that got one. We only use the weird words like what we say ain't and dis, this, this, we say this, or we say dis instead of this, or dat, <laughs> or hillbilly. Anybody out there that crafts, go ahead, drop your links. I'm sorry I'm not seeing it. I really want to get through this. The, the, we've got to finish three letters, so I'm going to keep going. This one's really cute. I think I might do black alternating with that. Wouldn't that be cute on there? We'll see. All right, we got red. Let's put a little red on here. Loretta, you so you have no accent either, do you? <laughs> Right, Debbie? <laughs> All right, let's do, um, let's do some red here too. And you can do one letter at a time if you don't want to mix it up. I just figure as long as I'm got the brush ready with the color on, I might as well do each letter. You may not want to finish this project all in one night. So red. Okay, um, we were gonna do pink flower petals, huh? So let's. Gotta be cute. And I'm just moving around where it's dry or where I haven't already painted. That way I don't have to worry about drying the paint in between. Okay, we got extra on that petal. And like I said, this is all gonna pull together when we finish it. It really will pull together. All these colors will look awesome together. Okay, that's a cute petal or a cute flower. Lucky if I finish one a month, huh, <laughs> Debbie? Well, that's all right, Ginny. Okay, what color were we gonna use? We are gonna do teal, oh, teal and dragon fruit. That's what we we're gonna do, right? On the chevron. Let's get that back over here. That'll be cute. Again, you got that lighter pink here and using these colors near it, it's gonna be okay. The dragon fruit reminds me almost of like a, a coral kind of peach or a coral kind of pinky. If that's if that's a way to describe it, I'd say mix between a coral and a pink. That's really a cute color. If you make little mistakes, and if you don't, if you leave a little space. Like you see, there's a little white space you left. It's okay, it'll be covered.
We're getting there. It's I think this, I love this dragon fruit color. That's really cute. I'm excited too, Sharon. I am very excited to see how this is all going to look when we're done. All right, we're going to do, this is going to be polka dots. So I'm just going to color it all in. I drew the polka dots on here. You can see I drew them, but I'll do the polka dots a different way. You can sort of see through where they are, though. Even if you can't see them, it's okay. You can do polka dots on the top. I just put them on there so I knew what I was doing. Okay. Let's add a little bit of dragon fruit in between this teal. All right, what haven't we used? Let's see, we're gonna use um, a purple. Let's use purple. Let's do purple in here. Um, we'll do some purples here. Now these letters, like I said, I think I got the letters from Joann's. They should have been sanded, like the edges. You can see how bad the edges are. They could have been sanded. I didn't sand them. If you want it even brighter, you can give it another coat after it dries, but you, you won't need to. It'll be, it'll be good. All right, purple. Um, Let's add some light, light teal. We're going to do the light teal um, in this big area. Or this is almost like a mint green too. Or like your mint chocolate chip ice cream. Okay, got that big area. See, now it's starting to fill in. We're, get, we're, getting, we're getting there. Let's add it in this big square here, or diamond kite side, kite, diamond. Do it there. We're also going to do it on this flower. The other thing you could do, you know, we had all kinds of shape ideas. There was um, squares, people said, triangles. Um, I did a sun on one that you'll see when I'm done, where it was sort of like a sun. Okay, we got that, and let's just add, a, we'll add this to the striker too. So this one's getting almost done. What color should we use black in between these red or what color? We could do red. Um, should we do red and yellow? Should we do red and yellow? Let's add some of this. Um, Let's do some orange. We haven't done orange yet. Let's do the orange. We'll do orange and black. Or orange and purple. Actually, purple's a little wet yet, but 
you just be careful by it. Halloween colors. Yellow, black, yellow. See, and I debated on the black. Black would be really, really cute too. But I wonder if it'll be almost too dark. And maybe it's not. Red and yellow. I think I might do that. I do think too that I might do the yellow. Um, okay, so we got orange here. We're going to add some orange in these triangles. Like I said, it's so colorful and fun. Whatever colors you choose in here will work. We're going to pull it all together at the end. That's the orange. Orange, let's add... Um, Let's do the yellow in here. I think there's a few colors I haven't used here yet either. Thanks, Judy. Yeah, okay, I am liking this. What does this remind me of, those colors together? What kind of, is that like a flag, like a racing flag or something? Just did my welcome to my porch sign and the fuzzies came off better after the paint dried with a little touch up. That sounds cute, Ginny. You'll have to put a picture out on the Crafty Servings Crafting Club. All right, so we got the yellow on there. Oh, we should add yellow on some of these others. Let's do a yellow here. Again, if you want to do other colors, like if you want to do similar colors, you know, like all different browns, something on that order, browns and taupes, you can do that. Um, You can do like, or different purples, or just pick two colors, whatever you think. But this is so bright, colorful, fun. Um, it's just, it'll just be cute and fun. All right, let's do yellow stripes here. We're almost got it all filled in. So let's do um, around here. Let's do this lavender around this flower. That's really a pretty lavender, right? Or it's like a lilac. Let's finish. Okay, this I can't even look up because this is very detailed. <laughs> it probably would have been easier to do the background first and then the flower over it, but it works. Or use a littler brush. That's really cute. Can you see that? Let's do, I'm gonna do this big area, purple. 
the lilac color. Okay, we got that. And let's do, um, we're going to do this in between here too with the red. Sounds weird, right? Red and lilac. It's going to be cute. in this one what color should I paint the big area where the teardrops are gonna be what color should I would I do that big area we got like some big areas left here um, I'm gonna put this purple also in this wavy area Thanks, Sharon. Bright green. All right, that's the first one I saw. Oh, I just put green on top of my, or purple on top of my green. I gotta, not paying attention. There we go. Okay, bright green. Let's do this bright green here. Bright green or like the like the darker green or the, the citron green? I haven't used that green yet either. Should we do this one? I think we'll do this one. I haven't used this one yet either. That'd be cute on there. Oh, I haven't used that one either. All right, I got some stuff to do. These are really looking cute, right? All right, let's do this green here. We got that on there. Let's do a little bit of green in between here. Dark green, not lime green. Okay, and that's, I did do the dark, okay. So let's do, um, I wanna use this green. This is really a pretty green too. It's sort of green turquoise. I think it's bluegrass green it's called. Let's do that. Um, let's do it here first. I love that green. Can you see that one? It's called bluegrass, so it's sort of bluish green. I don't know what I got going on on this one. <laughs> Got that. Let's put up some of this blue. We'll do that between the yellow here. As you can tell, I have so much color left on here. It doesn't take much. Um, and I had it way over the amount. Where else I'm going to put it? I'm going to put this also around this petal, just because uh, around this pink. I think it's so pretty. Is that a 
kind of cute. We're getting there. We're almost, we're almost done with this part. The last step on these letters is quicker and easy, but it's what's going to make it all look awesome. That one's looking really cute. All right, um, let's do, I'm gonna add a little more red on this one because it just, the red didn't blend good enough. I see too much white through it. I just want that bright red. Okay, um, let's do, um, we'll do some dark purple now. Oh, I have dark purple there. Let's do a dark purple in here. I'm just really, honestly, I'm at the end. I'm just trying to figure out my last colors. Okay, that's a dark purple on there. Um, With this black, let's do a little bit of this um, light teal. I don't know that I use that even. Almost done with that one. Let's put some of this on here. It's right next to a different teal, but it's still, it's gonna look really cute, it will. Are y'all still trusting me? If you put gray first, then red on top of gray, it covers better. That's a good tip too. Like I said, I know when, the reason why I painted these white first is because the white definitely makes bright colors pop when you paint on top of it then. And that's why I painted the white, because otherwise they were a wood color. Okay. Now we need a color in here. You know what? I'm going to use a light pink. In here. I haven't used that yet, I don't think. I promise you I will go back and read comments. I know I'm not able to watch as much. If I kept looking at all the time, we never get done tonight. So we're just almost done with these three letters. And then we'll tie them all together. Okay, that pink is really cute with that. Um, let's add the pink in here too. What are you making? But I'm loving all the colors. Kathy, I am making a garden. If this a, a sign, it's going to say garden. You can make any sign you want. You can make, uh, I painted the beginning of the sign before. Um, all right, I think this one, well, this one I do need. We're going to put polka dots, I remember. So let's do the polka dots on this one and we're going to use this yellow, I think. OK, 
Can you see what I'm doing? Now I'm just using the back of the paintbrush. It works great to make circles. The paint is getting a little dry, so it's not coming on the paintbrush as much. So that one is almost done. We just have one more step. Um, we need to add a little color in here. Let's do, um, we're gonna do a yellow right here, a brighter yellow. Looks like a bumblebee. Brighter yellow there, and I think we're going to use that bright yellow right in here. Okay, now we need our little hearts. Um... I'm just looking for a, a real skinny back end of a paintbrush to do our hearts. Okay, so the hearts on this one, I think I'm going to do this darker teal. You just, let's see, I want to do them upright. So you just put a dot, another dot. And then sort of pull them together. <laughs> Do, 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 do. I'll use a pencil. No, I'm not. Don't look at what I just did. I just had to make a point on my paintbrush. Sorry. Don't look at it. That's what, that's what I do. All right, and we'll make another one. anybody else do that? It was clean. It was clean. Okay, got that. Okay, Ginny, I'm glad I'm not the only one who does that. It was clean. It wasn't even in water. So, honestly, I don't know that I've ever used this one even long and skinny okay that one's done all right Rita see you gotta use that's how you get a point right all right I'm glad I don't feel so bad <laughs> all right so let's see we've got um oh I know we need a little bit here as long as I've got this I'm not doing any more hearts I can use this brush Almost done. Let's, okay, we need a color um, in here. Let's just do this citron green. Okay, and we need some polka dots on here. Let's do dark. Purple polka dots. Okay, and now we need a teardrops. That's on this one. 
Let's see, we're gonna do we're gonna do it like we did the heart. All right, so let's do it in um let's we need a bright color. Let's do it in the dragon fruit. So we're gonna do a circle. And we're gonna use our paintbrush and drag it down. And that's how we're gonna make our teardrops. Okay, so let's do another circle and just drag it down. And it got pretty long because I was making mistakes. <laughs> Where is a good place to get wood, good brushes? You know what, Loretta? A lot of my brushes I get at Walmart. They're in the packages. I can show you the packages if I remember when I'm done here. I also, when they're on sale at Hobby Lobby, when like the Master's Touch are on sale, if you want a really good brush, um, you know, I'm not saying Master's Touch are the best, but they're better than others, than some other ones. They're sort of reasonable when you can get them on sale. And, you know, especially when you're talking brushes like, like these, um, they just really, they brush nice. And this is, this, yeah, this is a master's touch. So it's just the texture of it in that. Um, like if you, if you're just doing regular painting like this, you don't need nothing that great. Um, and then wait till on sale. Master's Touch right now, or I don't know if it is this week, but for a couple of weeks, it was on sale 50% off at Hobby Lobby. So, all right, I think I have all the colors done that I want. And now we're just going to dry them up just a little bit, and we're going to finish the letters, and then we're going to put them on the sign. So it won't take much. And keep them separated, Jenny. Okay, it's not going to take much to dry up. It's just putting all the polka dots. And our two drops in our hearts that are left to dry. Dang, that's hot. Okay, now you want to see how we pull it all together. It's so easy. So this was not hard, right? It was a lot of colors. It, it seemed time consuming. It, it looks sort of messy, right? It doesn't seem like it's anything. Black marker. Now this is, this is the medium tip. I have a fine, a medium, and a thick. Um, this is the medium one I know. I'm trying to see if there is it's so, I use it all the time. It's actually, I don't even have a size on it. I can show you. Um, I don't know if you can see that there. There's also a fine tip. You know what I'm going to do? One more thing on here. Just as long as we got, we did this at the beginning. I want to add just one more little thing of color. So I'm going to take one of my skinny I just want to add one more thing of color and I think the color I'm going to pick is a teal. Okay. Um, and then we're going to finish the letters. I'm going to use this bluegrass actually. I like the bluegrass. I'm just going to, let's see. I'm going to put a longer line than what the black was. Red would look really cute on here too. I'm just, just wanting to add one more color. Number stamping section and on Amazon. Okay, I missed that. I'm sorry. 
So I'm trying to make it higher than the black. another color we could be doing every other one with red if we want um, there's just so many ideas you could do I missed one. Did I go back? I caught it though, right? I went back and caught it. <laughs> I know I did. I almost feel like there's one more color I'm going to put on here and I'll show you what I'm going to do. And I'm making this up. Just have fun with it. Okay. Last color is I'm going to take just this this real fine brush. I think I'm going to use. Actually, I've got a little little shorter one. I'm going to use the red. And I'm going to put a little little line in the middle of the black. I don't know, can you even see that? I don't know if, if it's going to be bright enough. I just feel it's going to help blend those colors together. And then we'll let this dry and we'll just finish those letters. It's going to put it all together. Yeah, you can see that red. You can see the red when I'm doing it now. Okay, where am I? I say you could definitely do polka dots if you want. Oh, I think I'm done. You could do polka dots or anything if you want. I know it's hard to see that on there. Okay, we're gonna let that dry now. Now let's do the lettering. Okay, we're gonna pull it all together now. So you use the marker, and this is a permanent marker, so any permanent marker, but this is like a medium-sized tab. It's, it's not too thick and it's not the real thin. We're just going to make sure you can see this. We're just going to draw. Let's see, we're just drawing every single thing I did. And that that's why I said, don't worry about if there's a little bit of white showing. This covers it up because we're going in between all the lines. We're also going to circle all of the circles. We're going to go around the hearts. It's just going to pull everything together. And this part is really fast. This is also, I think somebody mentioned something before, was it Kathy, about afraid of using pencil. You're not going to see the pencil because we're pulling it all together with this. 
Um, I see a whole bunch of stars out there. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, doing petals. And those petals were not perfect. They don't have to be. Triangles here. You can see you can see the pencil mark by that triangle. As soon as you use that marker on it, it's gone. And look at how the difference now. You see here how this is going to just make it pop. Let's go around the teardrops also, though. Go around the hearts. All right, and lastly, so I've got everything outlined on there. Lastly, I go right around the outside edge. I gotta lay that down to do it. So I'm just drawing on that outside edge all the way around. And that closes up all of these lines then. This doesn't take long at all. You can, I don't know if you can see the difference, even by that purple and red, the part that we even close up the outside by, it just makes a difference. Finishing that off. Okay, this one is done. Isn't that just really cute? And I'm gonna spray a gloss sealer on these. And I'll show you the ones that I did last night that we sprayed. So now, see how uneven the black and white is? Once you take this marker in between here, it closes that all up. I won't do the outside yet. Do you see all of this together on that sign too? It fits perfectly on there. So now you can see when you do this, you think those like the reds and the pinks um, don't go together or the teals or the purple in there. Some of it maybe wouldn't, but when you start drawing the black lines in between them, that's what pulls it all together. We have to do the outline or we just leave it plain. You don't have to do the outline. 
I like doing it just because it adds that little extra black, but you don't have to do it. Um, if you're talking the outline around the whole outside, is that what you're talking or are you talking in between? I mean, let me show you the difference. Okay, I'm just gonna finish this letter and I'll show you the this letter that's done compared to a letter that's not done. Okay, I'm gonna do my own circles here. Okay, so let me show you. This is a letter that's done. This one is is not done. So I think that black just really adds a lot. Even doing that outside, um, I just think that black really, really adds a lot to it. You don't have to, though. It's whatever your preference is. But I think, to me, that's sort of what pulls all the colors that make the colors work together. But I mean, this is cute too, it is cute. So it's whatever your preference is. No, no right or wrong, okay? It's your preference. Okay, so the last letter and then I'll show you the garden, the rest of the letters. And I have them sprayed already, so you'll see that it even brightens it more when you add the spray sealer on it. Part of a cute. This was really a long live, and I apologize, but I know you all know you can hop off when you want. Okay, almost done with this letter, and then we'll show it together. is really really cute too okay now I just have to do the edge and I think this is all done and we'll show it all together And yes, you know, adding a colorful button here and there would really, really be cute. I don't have the buttons out though, and I'm not getting them, it's getting late. I started work early, earlier than normal today, and I stayed later than I normally do, so I'm getting tired. Finishing this last edges. Again, these letters I believe were from Joann's, Joann's or maybe even a Dollar General or something like that. Um, okay, so. These are the ones we did tonight. Let me show you last night that I did on my own. This is the, the D. Look at this little sun I did on there too. And if you can see, I did do them with a gloss finish, but they even pop even more. I think this is my favorite one. All right, so let's put them... 
together on the sign. Thanks for the hearts. Dollar General, Ginny. Okay, that, and it could be jo Dollar General that I got them at. Man, they probably were the like almost the last ones there. Let me get some of my hundred of paints out of here. Clear up some room. And you know another thing you could do is you could line this with black. I'm not going to do do that now, but that actually would be really cute is to line these with black. And you could even add a couple more colors like in between. I might do that. I won't do it now. I promise I won't do it now. I might add like little colors in between, you know, just to add more of the color. But this fits on here perfectly. Pardon? It's going to be backwards for you because I can't flip my camera. Okay, so those are the three I did tonight. I just got to see if I did this right. Nope. So it's going to be like this. So I am going to add a little more color around the outside of this frame. But can you see that I see and I don't want to glue them on yet until I have them all sprayed. But if I bring it up closer, you'll probably see that on there. So isn't that really cute? Easy, fun, colorful. It was so easy. You can mix up whatever colors. And I do love once you spray with the acrylic sealer, you get that bright shine in. I, I normally don't use the glossy. I use the glossy. I normally don't use bright colors. I use the bright colors tonight. So um, just because I just think it, it's fun. We need some fun. We need to have a little something, right? Um, I, I normally like rustic, but I love this. I'm going to add, after I'm off here, I'm going to add a little more colors in between and just decorate up the edging a little more. And I'll take pictures of it and show y'all. So should we do random act of kindness drawing? Stayed up. Jane, you made it up. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. How many times did your alarm go off? <laughs> Did you make your own design on the letters? Yes. So if you go back and watch at the beginning, um, I drew, like, so these are wood let just plain wood letters. And you can see, I painted them white. You can see the back is messy. I painted them white because the white, when you have white and you paint colors, bright colors on top of it, it makes those colors really pop on top of that white. That's why I did the white first. Um, and then I took a pencil and we drew whatever designs they wanted. You just, you just drew. Then you colored in. I have probably 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 colors sitting on my table. I just grabbed. I just grabbed anything bright and I grabbed black and white and just, just painted. And then when you highlight it with the black in between, it just pulls everything together. So... Thank you, Erlene. I appreciate it. All right, let's do random at the kindness so we can get all out of here. Yes, black on the trim would be great. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely play with this a little bit yet tonight before I go to bed. So um, let's do random at the kindness drawing. Thank you for all sticking on. Let's go back, back. All right, we've got. Um, see, I have all those. I always say that if it just says is watching, is watching, is watching, I scroll past. It's something new that Facebook put on too. Okay, this one has a lot of talking. Sherry Wilson, uh, private message me your mailing address. Yeah, because now Facebook shows constantly is watching, is watching, and it keeps telling. But, you know, I want to see the comments. So um, you're welcome, Kathy. Thanks for coming on again, everybody. I really appreciate it. You all have a great week. I'll post pictures when this is done. Um, like I said, I'm going to add a little bit more color to the edges, and we'll see what we come up with. So you all have a really good week, and we'll see you soon.